All right, so we're here at Anime Milwaukee and we're getting an exclusive interview with Martin Villani. How's it going today, Martin? Very good. I had a really good day, actually. And then I, I, uh, I met a lot of really cool people. Uh, a lot of people were very, very friendly. Anime Milwaukee is, is just one of the friendliest cons I've ever been to, and I'm really glad to be back. Excellent. Um, so we caught your uh, first part of your interview with Anime Milwaukee where you were talking about your uh, newest show, and it w it's you dealing with your depression. And uh, is this like a daily log you do, or is this a um, series about your steps through the process? Could you just elaborate on that a little bit it's more for me? It's got kind of a loose format. I, uh, I The first one I did, I, I introduced by explaining that I'd been diagnosed with depression and that I'd been dealing with it for the last just over half a year. And uh, I explained that it would be something I would do every Monday. And the, the idea behind that was I, I got a lot out of therapy. I got a lot out of uh, group therapy in particular which was an experience that uh, it was a, a regular enough thing that I had something to look forward to and it was an experience where I got to share experiences with people who dealt with very similar situations and in some cases very different situations but had resulted in very similar feelings to what I was going through. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got a lot out of that and I wanted to, to give that to other people if, if in some small way even if it isn't the exact same experience. Uh, and uh, it, it's one of those things I uh, I'd seen other YouTube users talk about depression, like Tom Scar. He uh, he did a very effective video where he talked about going to see his doctor and learning that he had depression and that he was trying to get through it. And that was I, I was very struck by that. But uh, I'd never known of anybody. I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that probably has done something similar. But I I'd never known anybody do an ongoing series talking about it, which I felt was something that was that was missing because. Depression is one of those things that it doesn't go away very quickly. It doesn't go away very easily, and so I want to to make this this every Monday is when I do it. I wanted to make a, a show that uh, where I open up and it was completely unscripted, didn't have any real specific structure. The only structure I would have, and that I still have, is at the beginning of the video I talk about something positive from my life, and then the second half is how depression has affected me and how I deal with that. Individual aspects like the, the last one I did was about uh, having having a bad day, which you know sounds like a pretty big idea, but I... Uh, oh no, the last one I did was about doubting yourself. Nobody's worthless, you know? I, I, no, not one person, like even... You know, even somebody who's horrible has their place in the world, you know? Even, even if you're... Even if you feel a certain way like you 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 don't deserve to be alive or you don't deserve to be where you are or with the people you are you do and having uh, and being feeling hopeless uh, but I, I I write down the, the subject and then I will just start talking and and some of them go for 10 15 minutes some of them go for almost half an hour but I just I talk and it, it helps me to just let it out of my system by doing that and it and, it, and I had no idea what kind of a reaction it would get. I had no idea if people would uh, would take to it. I had no idea if, if people would even care. But to my surprise, and to, I'm very, very happy to say there have been so many people who have come to me and said that it's helped them. And it's it's been an incredible, it's, it, especially at this convention, I, I had no idea that people would feel brave enough to come to me in person and talk to me face to face about it. And I'm very proud of them that I'd say at least a hundred people have come up to me this weekend and told me that you know they've been going even if they're not going through depression they've been going through a bad time and just watching those videos has has made them feel if not better it's made them feel more comfortable and, and more hopeful and I I I'm really I'm very grateful for that and I, I don't want to ever I, I, a lot of people ask me, you know, how, when will you stop doing We're Still Here, and I don't want to stop, you know, I, I, even if I end up repeating a lot of the information I've already stated, I want to keep going because as long as people are listening, I don't want to stop talking, and it's something that people feel very reluctant to talk about, and I feel like I'm in a position where if I talk about it, people will open up more about it, and I want to give them that opportunity.
Yeah, it's it's really nice because it definitely makes people like that not feel alone mm -hmm. when you're dealing with something. That's like that. a big part of it. Yeah. Um, are, is that series available on just your regular YouTube? It's page? On my regular YouTube page okay. every Monday. Excellent. Um, to shift gears just a little bit, um, I've seen some stuff pop up on your Tumblr actually, or I hope it's your Tumblr. Otherwise, someone has been audio jacking your house, and you should look into that. Um, but there was this <laughs> audio clip that I heard of you when you were preparing for a role. And something that you said in it um, is that was, grandpa. Yeah, were you getting ready for grandpa? And you're like, well, I'm grandpa now. I'm going into grandpa. <laughs> um, does stuff like that happen where you're prepping for a character and it's just, oh no, nope, shifting gears. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time, like that was just a clip that I, I thought was relatively amusing. But a lot of the time, when I start recording for one specific character, I have these these, uh, like, I guess, the trigger lines that uh, they'll get that I know how to say effectively that will just let me jump into that role and like I won't have to you know brush off the rust and you know try and remember how to do it and uh, grandpa <laughs> grandpa is usually just like hey hey you yugi and and that just gets me going and I just I was out living that one time and I kept I kept the recording and I say I shared it with Tumblr and people seem to it it got like thousands of notes and I was like this is just me saying words, you know? But it was kind of interesting to hear because it's one of those things where, like, what made me interested by it is you're just like, well, I'm doing this character now, and you can just hear you come down the hallway, and, like, I've been watching, like, some of the other exclusive with, like, um, some other web shows, like Ruby and some of that, where you get to meet cast, and, you know, you hear how they're prepping up. And it's kind of interesting that you don't really see that aspect yeah. of, especially, like, on fan-made uh, series like Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge or... Um, any of the abridged series of like how they prep to do all those amazing voices and it's actually just kind of fascinating to just hear that aspect of just like how to get into the character or sometimes you just get into that character and you just gotta roll with it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I, especially with characters like, like Yami and, uh, and Kaiba, I, I definitely have to give myself a minute to, 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 to just start talking as that guy and be, and be like in that mindset. Well, I activate this! And I activate your mama! Then I activate... What? You heard me, Kaiba. Your mama. I activated her. <laughs> yes, you can stop searching, Kaiba. After all these years, it turns out I'm your daddy. <laughs> uh, a lot of it is just very mental. It's very, you know, I have to think like that guy and have that attitude going on. The voice itself comes relatively naturally, but uh, just being able to give that right performance. And, uh, a, lot of, a lot of them are very one note, but they're very one note in a specific way. Yeah. You know, like grandpa, you know, that's him, you know. But uh, it, it, it is is something that I have to sort of ease myself into, even if it's only for a couple of minutes. And, and, and that one clip just happened to stand out to me. I don't know what it was. And it stood out to a lot of people, it sounds like. Excellent. Um, well, we don't want to take like too much more of your time, yeah, but um, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans or anything? Just like take like a minute uh, to address them or any inspirational words you'd like to give them? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, so sorry, putting just put the spot giant right spotlight on you right now. Um, for those of you who follow me for Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged, I want to thank you for your support, and I want to thank you for allowing me to, let, to make you laugh, uh, because that is something that has been like oxygen to me. It's something I need to, to live. It, it's been something that's kept me going for the last 10 years, and I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to make you laugh. For those of you who have followed me for me, or for the We're Still Here series, I. I want you to know that uh, I, I've heard everything you've, you've said to me. I've, I've, I've appreciated the fact that you, you care enough to show any investment into me as a human being. And I want you to know that uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy that, that you, you care and that I, I hope that you're doing okay. And, and for one, one reason or another, I, whatever brought you to me, I, I hope that it's something that you found that has that has been rewarding in either in humor or in you know an emotional level. If, it, if it's something that's helped you as a person and that's helped you find friendships and or has helped you reconnect with people, I, I just want you to know that I, I it's it's meant more to me than you realize, and I, I I really do appreciate everything everything about your support. So thank you. Well, Martin, thank you so much. Well, thank you. You're a very charming and humble guy. Every time I've met you, it's been a pleasure talking to you. You too. Man. So, thanks again, and enjoy Anime Milwaukee, you guys. Have a great time.
Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. Big thanks to Martin for taking some time to talk with us, as well as Anime Milwaukee. Be sure to check our video description to learn more about the convention. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out Martin's YouTube page? You can see his latest episodes of We're Still Here and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series. While you're watching this video, though, why not like and subscribe to X so you can get more geeky goodness from us. You can watch our CollisionCon 2015 cosplay report, or you can watch GUI. We're currently playing The Unfinished Swan. I hear it's kind of...